Susan Tufts Fisk born August 19, 1952, is the Eugene Higgins Professor of Psychology and Public Affairs in the Department of Psychology at Princeton University. She is a social psychologist known for her work on social cognition, stereotypes, and prejudice. Fisk leads the Intergroup Relations, Social Cognition, and Social Neuroscience Lab at Princeton University. A quantitative analysis published in 2014 identified her as the 22nd most eminent researcher in the modern era of psychology 12th among living researchers, 2nd among women. Her theoretical contributions include the development of the stereotype content model, ambivalent sexism theory, power as control theory, and the continuum model of impression formation. Topic. Early years and personal life Fisk comes from a family of psychologists and civil activists. Her father, Donald W. Fisk, was an influential psychologist who spent most of his career at the University of Chicago. Her mother, Barbara Page Fisk, was a civic leader in Chicago. Her brother, Alan Page Fisk, is an anthropologist at UCLA. Fisk's grandmother and great-grandmother were suffragette members. In 1973, Susan Fisk enrolled at Radcliffe College for her undergraduate degree in social relations at Harvard University where she graduated magna cum laude. She also received her Ph.D. from Harvard University in 1978 for thesis titled Attention and the Weighting of Behavior in Person Perception. She currently resides in Princeton, New Jersey with her husband Douglas Massey, a Princeton sociologist. Topic. Career The last semester of Fisk's senior year, she worked with Shelley Taylor, an assistant professor at Harvard, studying social cognition, particularly the effect attention has in social situations. After graduation, Fisk continued in the field of social cognition. At the time, and even today, there was conflict between the fields of social psychology and cognitive psychology, and some researchers wanted to keep these two fields separate. However, researchers like Fisk felt that significant knowledge could be attained by combining the fields. Fisk's experience with this conflict and her interest in the field of social cognition sparked the inspiration of the first edition of Fisk's and Taylor's book Social Cognition. This book provides an overview of the developing theories and concepts emerging in the field of social cognition, while explaining the use cognitive processes to understand social situations, ourselves and others. Fisk and Stephen Newberg went on to develop the first dual process model of social cognition, the continuum model. She gave expert testimony in the landmark case, Hopkins v. Price Waterhouse which was eventually heard by the Supreme Court of the United States, making her the first social psychologist to testify in a gender discrimination case. This testimony led to a continuing interest in the use of psychological science in legal contexts. After this case, Fisk became intrigued with gender research. Working with Peter Glick, Fisk analyzed the dependence of male-female interactions, leading to the development of ambivalent sexism theory. She also examined gender differences in social psychologists' publication rates and citations within the Influential Psychology Journal, Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. The male authors in the sample submitted more articles and had higher acceptance rates 18% versus 14%. Women's impact was the same as men's as measured through the number of citations in textbooks and handbooks, so women were more cited per article published. Volunteering to complete the prejudice chapter in the Handbook of Social Psychology, 4th edition, Fisk realized that most research on prejudice focused on the relationship between African American and Caucasian individuals. With the lack of research on the diversity of the 20th century population's ethnicities, Fisk worked with Peter Glick and Amy Cuddy to develop the stereotype content model. This model explains that warmth and competence differentiate out group stereotypes, indeed, these traits may be the first by which an individual is automatically evaluated. Recently, Fisk has been involved in the field of social cognitive neuroscience. This emerging field examines how neural systems are involved in social processes, such as person perception. 
Fisk's own work has examined neural systems involved in stereotyping, intergroup hostility, and impression formation. Fisk is a past president of the Association for Psychological Science, the Society for Personality and Social Psychology, the Federation of Associations in Behavioral and Brain Sciences, and the Foundation for the Advancement of Behavioral and Brain Sciences. She was also elected to the National Academy of Sciences, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and the American Academy of Political and Social Science. She has authored over 300 publications and has written several books, including her 2010 work Social Beings, A Core Motives Approach to Social Psychology and Social Cognition, a graduate-level text that defined the now popular subfield of social cognition. She has edited the Annual Review of Psychology with Daniel Schachter and Shelley Taylor and the Handbook of Social Psychology with Daniel Gilbert and the late Gardner Lindsay. Other books include Envy Up, Scorn Down, How Status Divides Us, which describes how people constantly compare themselves to others, with toxic effects on their relationships at home, at work, in school, and in the world, and the human brand, how we relate to people, products, and companies. Topic. Methodological terrorism controversy With the replication crisis of psychology earning attention, Fisk drew controversy for calling out critics of psychology. In a letter intended for publication in APS Observer, she called these unnamed adversaries, names such as methodological terrorist and self-appointed data police and said that criticism of psychology should only be expressed in private or through contacting the journals. Columbia University statistician and political scientist Andrew Gelman, well respected among the researchers driving the replication debate, responded to Fisk, saying that she had found herself willing to tolerate the dead paradigm of faulty statistics and had refused to retract publications even when errors were pointed out. He added that during her tenure as editor a number of papers edited by her were found to be based on extremely weak statistics. One of Fisk's own published papers had a major statistical error and impossible conclusions. After the leak of her letter, she tempered the language in the published APS Observer column, removing the term methodological terrorists. In the column, she expressed concern that although peer critiques are valuable, peer critique through social media outlets can encourage a certain amount of uncurated, unfiltered denigration. She elaborated, in a few rare but chilling cases, self-appointed data police are volunteering critiques that attack the person, not just the work, they attack publicly, without quality controls, they have reportedly sent their unsolicited, unvetted attacks to tenure review committees and public speaking sponsors, they have implicated targets family members and advisors. Since writing the column, Fisk has published peer-reviewed advice about publishing rigorous research in the 21st century and about adversarial collaboration as a remedy to public public incivility among disagreeing perspectives. Research Her four most well-known contributions to the field of psychology are the stereotype content model, ambivalent sexism theory, the continuum model of impression formation, and the power as control theory. She is also known for the term cognitive miser, coined with her graduate advisor Shelley E. Taylor, referring to individuals' tendencies to use cognitive shortcuts and heuristics. Topic. Stereotype content model The Stereotype Content Model SCM, is a psychological theory arguing that people tend to perceive social groups along two fundamental dimensions, warmth and competence. Warmth describes the group's perceived intent, friendly and trustworthy or not, competence describes their perceived ability to act on their intent. The SCM was originally developed to understand the social classification of groups within the population of the U.S. However, the SCM has since been applied to analyzing social classes and structures across countries and history. Most samples view their own middle class as both warm and competent, but they view refugees, homeless people, and undocumented immigrants as neither warm nor competent. The SCM's innovation is identifying mixed stereotypes, high on competence but low on warmth e.g., rich people or high on warmth but low on competence e.g., elderly people. 
Nations with higher income inequality tend to use these mixed stereotypes more frequently, groups' perceived cooperativeness predicts their perceived warmth, and this dimension reflects the importance of intent. Warmth predicts active helping and harming. A group's perceived status predicts its stereotypic competence, so this reflects a belief in meritocracy, that people get what they deserve. Competence predicts passive helping and harming. Topic. Ambivalent sexism theory Fisk and Peter Glick developed the ambivalent sexism inventory as a way of understanding prejudice against women. The ASI posits two sub-components of gender stereotyping, hostile sexism hostility towards non-traditional women, and benevolent sexism idealizing and protecting traditional women. The theory posits that men and women's intimate interdependence, coupled with men's average status advantage, requires incentives for women to cooperate benevolent sexism and punishment for women who resist hostile sexism. Both men and women can endorse hostile sexism and benevolent sexism, though men on average score higher than women, especially on hostile sexism. The ASI appears useful across nations. The authors have also developed a parallel scale of ambivalence toward men. Topic. Power as control theory Power as control theory aims to explain how social power motivates people to heed or ignore others. In this framework, power is defined as control over valued resources and over others' outcomes. Low-power individuals attend to those who control resources, while powerful people need not attend to low-power individuals since high-power individuals can, by definition, get what they want. Topic. Continuum model of impression formation This model describes the process by which we form impressions of others. Impression formation is framed as depending on two factors, the available information and the perceiver's motivations. According to the model, these two factors help to explain people's tendency to apply stereotyping processes versus individuating processes when forming social impressions. Topic. Awards and achievements Fisk became an elected member of the National Academy of Sciences in 2013. In 2012, Fisk received the Leadership in Diversity Science Award, from the University of California at Los Angeles. In 2008 she was named President of the Foundation for the Advancement of Behavioral and Brain Sciences. In 2011, Fisk was elected into the Fellowship of the British Academy. During that year, Fisk was also named Honorary President of the Canadian Psychological Association. In 2010, she was awarded the American Psychological Association Distinguished Scientific Contribution Award. She received numerous awards in 2009, including a Guggenheim Fellowship, the Association for Psychological Science William James Fellow Award, the Society for Personality and Social Psychology Donald Campbell Award, and Princeton University Graduate School Mentoring Award. In 2008, Fisk received the Stotts Award for Unifying Psychology, from the American Psychological Association. In 2003, she was awarded the Thomas Ostrom Award from the International Social Cognition Network. Fisk also received the Award for Distinguished Service, Society for Personality and Social Psychology in 2006. She was awarded honorary degrees from the University of Basel in 2013, the University of Leiden in 2009 and the Université Catholique de Louvain in 1995. She has been president of the Society for Personality and Social Psychology, Division 8 of the American Psychological Association, and the American Psychological Society now the Association for Psychological Science in 2002. Topic. Books Fisk, Susan T., Schachter, Daniel L., Zan Waxler, Carolyn 2004. Annual Review of Psychology. Palo Alto, Calif. Annual Reviews. ISBN 9780824302555. Fisk, Susan T., 
Fisk, Susan T., Schachter, Daniel L., Zan Waxler, Carolyn. 2008. Annual Review of Psychology, Vol. 59. Palo Alto, Calif. Annual Reviews. ISBN 9780824302555. Fisk, Susan T., Schachter, Daniel L., Zan Waxler, Carolyn. 2009. Annual Review of Psychology, Vol. 60. Palo Alto, Calif. Annual Reviews. ISBN 9780824302655. Fisk, Susan T., Gilbert, Daniel T., Lindsay, Gardner. 2010. Handbook of Social Psychology, 5th ed. Hoboken, N.J., Wiley. ISBN 9780470137404. Fisk, Susan T., Schachter, Daniel L., Sternberg, Robert J. 2010. Annual Review of Psychology, Vol. 61. Palo Alto, Calif., Annual Reviews. ISBN 9780824302655. Fisk, Susan T. 2011. Envy Up, Scorn Down, How Status Divides Us. New York, Russell Sage Foundation. ISBN 978-0-87154-464-3. Fisk, Susan T., Schachter, Daniel L., Taylor, Shelley E. 2011. Annual Review of Psychology, Vol. 62. Palo Alto, Calif., Annual Reviews. ISBN 9780824302565. Fisk, Susan T., Schachter, Daniel L., Taylor, Shelley E. 2011. Social Neuroscience, Toward Understanding the Underpinnings of the Social Mind. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-531687-2. Fisk, Susan T., McCrae, C. Neal, 2012. Sage Handbook of Social Cognition. London, Sage. ISBN 978-0-85702-481-7. Fisk, Susan T., Marcus, Hazel R., 2012. Facing Social Class, How Societal Rank Influences Interaction. London, Russell Sage Foundation. ISBN 978-0-87154-479-7. Fisk, Susan T., Schachter, Daniel L., Taylor, Shelley E. 2012. Annual Review of Psychology, Vol. 63. Palo Alto, Calif., Annual Reviews. ISBN 9780824302634. Fisk, Susan T., Taylor, Shelley E. 2013. Social Cognition, From Brains to Culture, 2nd ed. London, Sage. ISBN 978-1446258156. Fisk, Susan T., 2013. Sage Major Works in Social Cognition. London, Sage. Fisk, Susan T., 2014. Social Beings, 4th ed. New York, Wiley. Sternberg, Robert J., Fisk, Susan T., Foss, Donald J., eds. 2016. Scientists Making a Difference, 100 Eminent Behavioral and Brain Scientists Talk About Their Most Important Contributions. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 9781107127381. Fisk, Susan T., 2016. Selected journal articles Fisk, Susan T., Taylor, S. E. Salience, Attention, and Attribution, Top of the Head Phenomena. Advances in Experimental Social Psychology. 11. pp. 249-288. doi. 10.1016 per seconds 0065-2601-08-60009-X. ISBN 9780120152119. Fisk, Susan T., Taylor, S.E., Etkoff, N.L., Ruderman, A.J. 1978. Categorical and Contextual Bases of Person Memory and Stereotyping. 
Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. 36 7, 778 793. DOI 10.1037/0022-3514/36.1. Hoffman, Ernst. 1980. Attention and Weight in Person Perception: The Impact of Negative and Extreme Behavior. Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. 38 889-906. Doi 10.1037/0022-3514/38.6.889. Fisk, Susan T. Abilson, R. P. Kinder, D. R. Peters, M. D. 1982. Effective and Semantic Components in Political Person Perception. Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. 42, 619-630. Doi 10.1037/0022-3514/42.4.619. Fisk, Susan T. Newberg, S. L. 1990. A Continuum of Impression Formation: From Category Based to Individuating Processes: Influences of Information and Motivation on Attention and Interpretation. Advances in Experimental Social Psychology, 23. pp. 1-74. Doi 10.1016 per seconds 0065-2601-08-60317-2. ISBN 9780120152200. Fisk, Susan T. 1993. Controlling Other People, The Impact of Power on Stereotyping. American Psychologist. 48 6, 621 to 628. DOI 10.1037/0003-066 extension 48.6.621. Fisk, Susan T. 1993. Social cognition and social perception. Annual Review of Psychology. 44 to 155 minus 194. Doi 10.1146 Anor of Psych 44.1.155 Fisk Susan T February 1993 Social Cognition and Social Perceptions Annual Review of Psychology 44 1 155 to 194 Doi 10.1146/anorov.ps.44.0201931011 PMID 8434891. Fisk, Susan T. Glick, P. The Ambivalent Sexism Inventory, Differentiating Hostile and Benevolent Sexism. Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. 73, 491-512. Sitesiarx 10.1.1.470.9865. DOI 10.1037/0022-3514/70.3.491. Fisk, Susan T. Stereotyping, Prejudice, and Discrimination. Handbook of Social Psychology, 4 ed. 2, 1, 357-411. Fisk, Susan T. Glick, P. 2001. An Ambivalent Alliance, Hostile and Benevolent Sexism as Complementary Justifications of Gender Inequality. American Psychologist. 56 2, 109-118. doi. 10.1037-0003-066 extension 56.2.109. PMID 11279804. Fisk, Susan T., Cuddy, Amy J. C., Glick, Peter, Shu, Jun. June 2002. A model of often mixed stereotype content, competence and warmth respectively follow from perceived status and competition. Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. 82, 6, 878-902. Sitesiarx 10.1.1.320.4001. DOI 10.1037/0022-3514/82.6.878. PMID 12,051,578. 
Fisk, Susan T., Borgita, Eugene August 2008. Providing Expert Knowledge in an Adversarial Context, Social Cognitive Science in Employment Discrimination Cases. Annual Review of Law and Social Science, 4 1, 123-148. Doi 10.1146 Anorov Lasashi.4.110707.172350 Sikora Mina Eberhardt Jennifer L Fisk Susan T December 2010 From Agents to Objects Sexist Attitudes and Neural Responses to Sexualized Targets Journal of Cognitive Neuroscience 23 540-551 doi 10.1162 jocn.2010.21497 pmc 3801174 pmid 20350187 fisk susan t march 2012 journey to the edges social structures and neural maps of intergroup processes british journal of social psychology 51 1, 1 to 12. doi 10.1111 j.2044 to 8309.2011.02092 x. pmc 3641691. pmid 22435843.